When words become weapons, our relationships soon become casualties. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Bill Crowder. It wasn't as simple as just crossing another river. By law, no Roman general could lead armed troops into Rome. So when Julius Caesar led his 13th legion across the Rubicon River and into Italy in 49 BC, it was an act of treason. The impact of Caesar's decision was irreversible, generating years of civil war before Rome's great general became absolute ruler. Still today, the phrase crossing the Rubicon is a metaphor for passing the point of no return. Sometimes we can cross a relational Rubicon with the words we say to others. Once spoken, words can't be taken back. They can either offer help and comfort or do damage that feels just as irreversible as Caesar's march on Rome. James gave us another word picture about words when he said in James 3, 6, The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. When we fear we've crossed a Rubicon with someone, we can seek their forgiveness and God's. But even better is to daily rest in God's Spirit. Hearing Paul's challenge in Colossians 4, let your conversation be always full of grace, so that our words will not only honor our Lord, but will lift up and encourage those around us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from James chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. That's today's scripture reading from James chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Let's pray. Please guard our hearts and our words today. May we speak only words that please you, Lord, and bring health and healing to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.